Hey there, course creators and membership site owners. This is Jana Peterson from CourseBistro.com. In this video, I want to share with you how to pre-sell your courses and membership sites, even when there's nothing built yet. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm going to show you how to do this. So I'm going to use an example product that I have here. Imagine this is an amazing graphic to your course or your membership site. Just pretend for a moment there. So number one is that graphics help sell and make it look like it's a legit thing. So focus hard on making your graphics look amazing. We're going to view this product now and you're going to see not only do I have my product graphic done, but I've got like a kind of a teaser graphic um, uh, showing the transformation that they get as they go through your course or membership site. And then you see these graphics here. This shows, you know, once they're in the thing, these, these, uh, these are called module graphics, but you see here how some of them are locked. So I typically will make it so that like right away, once someone enters into my course or membership site, or I do this for clients, something opens up immediately to welcome them and they get the first section or the first module of content. Okay. They can easily see how many lessons are in there. Um, but these are locked and it says how many lessons, but actually there's no content in there. None. All I have are the lesson titles and that's what gives me the number of lessons. So that's one thing I love about Member Vault and there is nothing that is going to get you to build your thing faster than when you have people in it and they're waiting for something to unlock and it says when it's going to unlock. So you kind of have an imposed deadline because you set up the drip on the back end. So graphics are what make your thing look amazing and ready, like it's 100% done, even when it's not. And that will help you to pre-sell your um, course or membership site before it's built out. Now I'm going to show you how to set up this drip on the back end. But first, let's see here. Let's just see here. So once they get into this welcome area, um, I have several things here. Of course, a fun Giphy because that's always fun. Then we have um, what I call a tell me about yourself section. So maybe you have some potential members or some founding members who want to join your thing and you want them to kind of co-create this thing with you. Um, this is where you can just set up some simple questions on the back end to get them involved even before you've you've made the thing. All I did is put in three questions. This kind of keeps them busy right away and gives you excellent, it's like a marketing group. It's like a test group, if you will, where they're telling you how, you know, what are they doing? What type of business do they want to run? Say this is a membership for starting an online business. What's their greatest obstacle to running or launching their business? And how are you hoping that this membership site will help you? So that kind of helps you see what are their expectations and how can I manage those expectations, but speak directly with content to helping overcome those problems, frustrations, obstacles, those swirling questions in their head, like, will this really work for me? And then you're going to make all your content speak to that issue. So this is really how some founding members can help um, speak into and help you actually co-create your content. Um, it could be with a founding member launch that you have them do um, maybe a monthly or a weekly uh, video call with you where you can interact and ask questions. I would keep that real limited, maybe no more than 10 founding members, um, but that's kind of a fun way to do this. Okay, now on the back side, I'm going to show you a couple things. I'm going to show you how to drip your content. Once you have your, your content, your product set up, this is my membership site. Just imagine that's my membership site. These are my modules. I've got my welcome and then maybe I have different steps in the process. I'm going to set a drip date on each of these. So I'm backdating these first two because I want those to open immediately. I could set it back to my birthday in real time. That's definitely a backdate, right? <laughs> or you can just set it to today's date and it will open automatically. It doesn't matter. Anything beyond that 
you determine like if you're going to launch your your membership on a future start of a month or mid month i just set these about a month apart and this last one the what's next i'm going to just say i want them to consume this module and then about 2 weeks out from that think about what's next and maybe that what's next is an upsell to maybe working directly with me in a one on one capacity maybe it's a higher level offer Okay, for coaching or something like that. So here's what I do. I click into each one of these and I'm just going to show you where I set that date. So I just set the date here. Up comes a little calendar and I can click through it, pick my date, check my date. Okay, so I just set this one for April 1st. If it's beyond that, just know you can always go and change your dates on your thing. So you're going to want to make sure to set your drip dates. Um, it, especially your initial time launching something, you're going to create that in real time and it's going to have a hard date on it um, because you haven't created the content yet in these future dates, um, whatever your dates may be. So that's how you set your drip dates. Now I want to show you how to set if I'm doing a founder's launch and what that means is like I'm going to accept only a certain number of kind of my eager clients or my eager followers to be founding members, to give me their input. Um, and I'm going to, what I want to do is I want to keep the price point at the actual price point in their mind of what the value of this membership is. But for them, I'm going to give it to them a certain percentage off. Okay. So what I'm going to come down here is I'm going to create payment options. Maybe it's a one-time payment option for an annual membership. Um, but I might also do, um, let's say, um, one time payment option. And then I'm going to add a coupon and I'm going to call it founding, founding member. And I might say it's 70%. 70 off. Okay. One thing I've found with these coupon codes is the shorter you make them and without any, um, without any, uh, symbols, it helps. Okay. So I might say, okay, 70% off, or I could do a certain amount off if I chose to, if I wanted to say $50 off or $70 off, that would be the amount, but I'm going to do a percentage off. Another thing you can do to add a little scarcity and urgency is to either say it expires on this date. That gives them some urgency to sign up by a specific date or scarcity. I'm only going to accept 10, the first 10 people that sign up. So this is kind of a fun way to add scarcity and urgency with a coupon code. And then you can literally um, grab this coupon name and promote it in a group or, or whatever. Okay, if you want that to be an evergreen open thing, then you'd put it never expires. Okay, um, I tap right here and just make sure that that saving sign comes up showing that it is a founding member price. So that's a, how you do a coupon code for founding members. And then you can decide what how you're going to serve them best and how you engage them as your ideal customer avatar, each of them, how you're going to engage them to get that input. Okay, uh, next thing we're going to do um, is how to tag them and message them. There's a couple ways that you can do this. We're going to come all the way down here. I'm within the product or the membership site, and I'm going to set up a few actions. Okay, I can do a couple things here. I'm going to say when they're added to this product in any way, I'm going to add the tag membership site. Okay, that tells me that they're in, oops, got to spell that correctly. That tells me that they're in my membership site. I'm going to also add an action. Maybe they're, um, maybe they're just looking at it. Maybe they're just a prospect. So if I say they become a hot lead and I can determine how many times I want to know if they've looked at, maybe it's just the first time. Maybe they're just looking. And this is a cool way to make visible. You know, when you go into a store and you're shopping for clothes in person at the mall, that salesperson is watching you and can see what you're looking at and can come up and introduce themselves and greet you and say, how can I help you? You know, what are you looking for? 
this is a way for you to do that even in a digital environment. So I will often set this to one and then I add the tag and I write interested in membership or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I can also send myself an email. So I can say send a notification and I can say Jaina at coursebistro.com. Okay, so I'm going to get a notification if I if anyone checks out my landing page for my membership. I'm going to get a notification. Okay, I can also set a notification if they've been added. I can also send myself a notification if they use a coupon code. Let's just see. <laughs> oh, I can say added to product using, let's see, a payment option. Any payment option or certain actions. Let's see. I thought there was a way that I could do this based on a coupon code. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. All right. Well, I fooled you. Fooled me. Okay. Nonetheless, I can, I will know who is, has joined my product based upon these things. So I can basically send myself a notification and I'll just copy this over um, once they've joined. Okay. So this is going to help me to communicate. And then what, um, because I've integrated my active campaign in with member vault in the integration section here, um, anytime uh, one of these tags is added, I can literally send off um, an email or two, an automation email sequence, maybe to someone who was interested in my membership site. They haven't even bought yet. And definitely once they've joined, I want to have an email series, an automated email series that goes out once a month, reminding them, oh, the next thing is dropped. Or, hey, remember your challenge for this month is X, Y, or Z. To get them engaged in the process to reach that transformation that they most want to see. So there are several ways here that you can engage your prospects and pre-sell your course or membership site before it's even launched. And then as those drop, you know your deadline, you get your thing done. And that is gonna be such a, it's such a motivator. It gets you working and you know you're making a difference in the lives of real people as you get your expertise out into the world.